Right, here we go. This is the main screen, and if you want to find out what the IP addresses are, if you press the initialize key, it will start the initialize processes, and you can see the uh, top right PLC IP address, HMI IP address, and also the default gateway. They're all there, and we're going to change those uh, via programming through a USB and then show you how to configure the HMI to talk to the new IP address. Those are the ones on the screen. And if I show you the programming tool, I've already updated the program. And these are the new IP addresses that we've been asked to use. So USB creation. Uh, there's a separate video for this, so I won't go through that. Uh, but we'll show you how to configure the IP addresses on the HMI very shortly. Just a quick reminder for the loading. Screwdriver into the reset button. On, release, on, one, two, three, off. And there we go, that should start us on our reloading of the program. The screen's gone blank, and it's going to stay like that, because uh, we've changed the IP address of the PLC, but we haven't changed the IP address of the screen. Uh, we're going to wait until the PLC settles down and it's communicating again, and then I'll show you how to go into the screen and set up the IP addresses. And the whole screen set up in actual fact, so that if you're fitting a replacement screen to one of our machines, you can um, set it up. Right, correctly. so now you can tell that the PLC has restarted. And the way you can tell the PLC has restarted is because the R light is on and green at the top. The ET light, Ethernet light is flashing, but I think that's because I've got it connected to my laptop. Now it is trying, the ET light is flashing and it's regularly flashing, that's because it's trying to communicate to the screen, which unfortunately is not answering because it's on the wrong IP chain. So the way to get around this is to press the red hand, press the hand button at the bottom. Now the hand button uh, on a new unit will work immediately. On one of the ones that we've got configured, you'll have to press it and hold it for five seconds, at the very least. Sometimes it's quite difficult to actually get this hand button to work at all because There we go. Right, on units that have been set up by Crest, in order to change the IP address, you will need to have the secret password, um, which I'm not going to tell you here, but I'll put it in an email. So if we touch this, it will come up, and there's a number screen here. OK. Right, now that's got you into startup. On a new screen, uh, this will come up already set up. Um, it won't come up already set up. This will be the first thing you see after you press the hand button. You will need to make a choice and you will need to, from the drop down list, uh, a new screen will have service page on. You need to select a VNC because that's the method that it uses to talk to the um, PLC. Network is one of the important ones. So if you go down here to network, host name we change to HMI. On a new screen, these both will be checked, you need to uncheck them. And then as we page down, you need to start putting in some IP addresses. Subnet mask is correct for the one that we want to use, but we're going to change the IP address. And this is done once again by just typing in what we need here. So we're backspace, 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 backspace. Is it just delete? See what I'm talking about, it just doesn't. Anyhow. I can't hold this phone and do this at the same time. So right, I've put the new address in by using the keyboard. That is all that we need to put in. Down. Oh, and I beg your pardon, we could put in the default gateway as well. So we'll put that one in. That will magically appear. And lo and behold, the new default gateway is there. That's fine. Let's carry on screen. Uh, I like to put the screensaver on. That is off by default. If you check this box and then use these plus and minus arrows, uh, it just simply saves an image being burnt into the screen. 30 minutes is what I normally give it, which is plenty of time for somebody to do a cycle, generally speaking. Uh, screensaver type is backlight off. Audio. You can have the buzzer on or off if you like. I'll bleep it. Hand button. This is uh, important. This is an old version of the screen. On new screens that come in, you will have 
one option here and you'll have another option immediately down below. If you check both of the boxes, it will come up with a question that asks you if you want to make the hand button work for after five seconds of continuous pressing. That's this button down here that we use to get into the uh, setup. You do want to select that option, otherwise your operators, when they're using the machine, will very occasionally go into the setup on this screen and be presented with a password, which is a bit confusing for them. So if you select the five second option, that is good. VNC. Right, I've made a mistake. This is where we set the IP address of the server. So that is going to become our the IP address for the PLC. And I'm going to go back and edit the IP address that I gave for the screen because I gave it the one for the PLC. And there we go, the screen, the address of the server, which is the PLC, which is what is uh, serving the information to the screen, is that set there. Web, we need to do nothing. Storage, we need to do nothing at all. Update, nothing. In actual fact, for the rest of it, it's basically accept all the default settings. On more recent screens, you may have a few more options, but we don't actually use any of them. Then we come down to the bottom here, and the last one that we use, security. This is the one where we set up the access security so that when someone presses the hand button down at the bottom there, they don't immediately go into the screen. So we've put in our default uh, Crest password for that. Um, we can show it or not as necessary. Right, I'm going to go back. Right, this is the screen for network. I give uh, the screen always HMI as a host name doesn't really perform any particular function uh, in this case because we're not using DNS and down here you want to put in the IP address and the IP address needs to be the IP address of the screen not the IP address of the PLC as I've put in here previously so I'll click on that go back there and change that to a 10. one dot one oh six dot two three oh dot three one enter there we go right so when you've got your uh, security password in you go down to save and exit and then press save changes and exit with any luck it will come up and connect to the PLC and there we go Connected to the PLC, uh, hit the initialize button, and we'll see there we've got the updated screen which shows our new IP addresses for the system. All done. Thank you.